Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Sabbath School Nugget. Now before we begin, would you please take a moment to hit those like, share and subscribe buttons so others can enjoy this as well? Now also, I want to say thank you to Seth for walking us through last week's lesson on the flood. Now this week we're going to be talking about the Tower of Babel and once again, this promises to be a great study. Our memory text for this week comes from Genesis 11 and 9. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Now, after the flood, our focus shifts from Noah to his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And as Paul Harvey used to say, now for the rest of the story. And to be honest, things don't go so well as we move from rainbows and promises to shame, curses, and rebellion, which actually proves that the Bible is the inspired Word of God. Now, why do I say this? Because the Bible writers never cover up the sins of the saints. They refuse to pull their punches. Instead, they flat out tell it like it is. This reality should encourage you and me. If great men and women of God committed sin and God still used them, He can use you and me as well. We need to be honest and acknowledge that Christians are far from perfect, but God always uses us in spite of ourselves. Now, Sunday's lesson gets to the sin. Actually, it kind of reminds me a little of Adam and Eve who sinned in the garden by a tree, and here we have Noah, and he's getting drunk in a garden, well, by a vine. Throughout the Bible, we learn that nothing good ever comes from getting drunk. The Bible says in Proverbs 21 that drinking too much wine is offensive to God. That strong drink causes one to make poor decisions. And Noah, given his age, he should have known better. Don't miss the parallels between Adam and Noah. Both took the fruit, both fell in the garden, both fell in the face of great blessing, both became naked, and both of their sins affected their families for generations to come. And this is where we come to back to the idea of legacy. Noah's drunken shame resulted in his son Ham doing something shameful that causes him to dishonor his father. And this dishonoring of his father would eventually lead his descendants to showing an even greater dishonor towards their heavenly father. But more about that later in the week. That's our nugget for today. Thank you for stopping by. Take care. God bless. Study your lesson.